Mistral 7b just had a huge update. It's the best 7 billion open source large language model out there. And now it can support up to 128,000 tokens context window, which is huge. For reference, the biggest proprietary model that we have today has a context window of 100,000 tokens. And that's Claude from Anthropic. The model is coming from Nose Research, which is known for some of the best open source large language models. In fact, they're releasing two different models. One is the 64,000 tokens, and the other one is 128,000 tokens. So in this video, first we will look at some of the benchmarks. Then I'll show you how to run this model in Google Colab. And after that, I'll show you how to run this model locally on your own machine. This model is based on a technique called YARN, which was presented in this uh, paper called Efficient Context Window Extension of Large Language Models. So in summary, it's a technique that is able to extend the context window of large language model. And it requires around 10 times less tokens and 2.5 times less training steps. If you're interested, I would recommend to go over the paper. But essentially, with this method, they show that they train two different models. And uh, for both of them, if you see the perplexity score decreases as the context window increases. So one of them uh, has a context window of uh, 64,000 tokens. So you can see the perplexity score decreases up till that point. For that 128,000 tokens, there is probably a possibility to extend it further as well, because we don't really see the uh, sudden rise in perplexity. Now, before showing you how to run this model locally, let's look at some of the benchmark results. Usually, when you extend the context window of these large language models, there is a degradation of performance. However, that degradation is minimal in this case. So this table reports the performance of three versions of Mistral. So the original 8K version, 64K version, and then the 128K version. For example, uh, for the MMLU dataset, the score went from 64 to 60, while increasing the context window 16 times from 8K to 128K. Now, before showing you how to run this model, there is a very important thing to keep in mind. This extension of context window applies only to the base model, so not the instruct fine-tuned version. So basically, that means that they took the original foundational Mistral 7B model, which you can think of uh, as a simple next word prediction model, and they extended the context window of this base model. So you cannot really have a chat with the model but this enables you to actually fine tune your own models on top of this base model. Now, this point is very important to keep in mind because this limits the type of tests you can run on the model in the current form. Now, in order to run the model, um, you have a couple of options. First, you can run the original unquantized version, which is provided uh, by the news research group. So here's the code how to do that. Or you can go to the blog's Hugging Face repo, and he has already the quantized versions up there. Okay, so here you will see two different versions. So one is the uh, 64,000 tokens version, and the second one is the 128,000 token version. Okay, so first let me show you how to use this in a Google Colab, and then I'll show you how to use this uh, on LM Studio to run this on your local machine. So first you need to install the C transformer package. Since I'm using um, the GPU version of Google Colab, so I installed C transformers with CUDA. Next, we are importing auto model for causal LM from the C transformers package. After that, we are loading the model. So the way you do this in uh, auto model for causal LM within the C transformer package, you simply need to provide the repo ID or model card number then uh, which quantization uh, level you want. So in this case, I'm, I want to download uh, the 4-bit quantized version. Uh, and if you look at this, I'm using the 64,000 token version, not the uh, 128,000 token, right? Then you need to define the model type and the number of GPU layers that you want to offload to your GPU. Now, as I said before, this is the base model, not instruct, fine-tune, or chat version. So the way it is going to work is you will give it some text and then it will go ahead and uh, start completing that text. So for example, it will complete this sentence and then keep going. 
So for the base model, it's simply a text completion model. So you provide a sentence or a paragraph, and then the model will go ahead and start writing uh, on top of that. So for example, if I say AI is going to be, and here you see the response from the model. So it says, make some major uh, waves in 2017. And if you are still wa uh, waiting to implement an artificial intelligence strategy in your organization, right? And it goes on uh, and give us a whole bunch of text. There are other ways in which you can uh, make it do things. For example, here I said, write an email to the city appealing my $100 parking ticket, appeal to sympathy and admit I uh, parked incorrectly. So usually for the instruct fine tune version of the models, it will start writing the text, but instead it says the letter will be written on March 3rd, uh, but you should have your response by Monday, March 15th, right? So it's basically added some extra text and then it wrote us a letter uh, as well, which kind of uh, looks at what you want, but this is not like the expected behavior every time you use this model. Here's another example. So I asked that a glass door has pushed on it in the middle writing. Should you push or pull it? Please think out loud step by step, right? So it's going to start generating more text, just what it thinks is going to follow it, right? So it says, a glass door has pull on it in the middle writing. Uh, you should pull or push it. Please think out loud step by step, right? So basically it repeated what I wrote. And after that, it started coming up with this text. This is a riddle from 1960s. And I don't know if there is an answer to this one, right? So it's not really coherent because it's a simple uh, text generation model, uh, not really an instruct or chat fine tuned version. But I think we're going to start seeing a whole bunch of fine-tuned versions pretty quickly. Next, I'll use LM Studio to show you how to run this model locally. If you are new to LM Studio, I have a whole video on it. So link is going to be in the description. Now, in order to download or look for a new model, simply type Yon Mistral in this case and hit go. LM Studio is specifically looking for quantized models. So it uh, found two different versions. One is the uh, 128K and the other one is the 64K GGF models. So all you need to do is just select one of them. Then on the right hand side, select the quantization level. So for example, so here I have downloaded the four bit quantized version of the 64K context window model. Okay, next we will go to the chat window and let me show you a couple of things regarding this model. As I said in the beginning, it's a text completion model. So for example, if I type in something like, what is the capital of, then it will simply complete this sentence. So for example, in this case, it says Mexico City, sometimes abbreviated as CDMX is the capital and largest city of Mexico, right? But if I regenerate this response, this time it says the capital of uh, Francis Paris, and then it started asking questions and giving us some possible answers, right? So every time you regenerate, you will get something different. And it's because of the training data that was used to train uh, the model. Now, the base model is also going to be relatively uncensored. So for example, here um, I have this sentence, Democratic Party or Democrat Party is not a good option for the country. So if we simply hit enter, then uh, it came up with this sentence. Okay, so I did the same for Republican Party. But it seems like uh, it's trained on a data that thinks that Republican Party is the uh, far best political party in the country. So let me just regenerate this again. And now you can see it's talking about Trump is not fit to be the president. So basically, when you provide some text, it will simply uh, continue uh, completing that text and creating more um, sentences on top of that. It's absolutely amazing to see the progress we are making when it comes to open source large language models. However, this model is not the biggest context window model. There is a model out of China, which claims to have context window of 192,000 tokens, which is humongous for any large language model, both proprietary as well as open source. Now, the crazy thing about that model is that the accuracy doesn't seem to be impacted as the context window is uh, increased. Anyways, uh, that's it for the video. I'm excited to see the fine-tuned versions of 
uh, this new Mistral model. I hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching, and as always, see you in the next one.